Hello everybody, my name is KJ. Welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent in the book again. So it looks like I have to go back to the nave and then see what Agrippa has to say. All this cutscene. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Hello, Agrippa. Do you want some meat? Do you want some tar? <laughs> oh, what's this? My people. So, must be a way. So, pull something, pull the wheel back into place. What's down here? Pull back up these stairs. Oh, these stairs make you jerk. Just keep jumping them. <laughs> jumping upstairs and stuff. So there must be a lever or lever of some sort. I don't know if I already pulled it though. Uh, I recognize this place. Uh, ah. There we go. So what did that do? Did that stop the machine downstairs next to a gripper? Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. Shut up. I am progressing with or without you. Suck on that bitch. I need to get into there. So, moving forward. What did that machine do? You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. I got the doors. Which doors? Can I get me? Well... I don't know what that did. How are things coming? Not many orbs are left. Oh, this Some door over here. Okay. Big dog dog. Hello? How much oil do I have? Oh, plenty. What's in here? Did the books. Move out of the way. It caught the order of the Black Eagles spew their politics at each other while sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent coward before regaining their senses. They all know I am one with the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers found this great order. I've seen them take their father's places, and they too will grow and pass away, while I remain the same. Age, not by time, but by anguish. Okay. Why is my vision all zoomed in? I don't like that. Now, every time I see the loud in them, I think shit's gonna get hell with his great loose. Let's ask from the from the side, trust with us who recently ever uh, uh, Gripper has been seen for the centuries, one flings work beyond. Way he claims he's trying to be released from my advantagement, but that seems to agree with him. But what we're capable of. Ah, so this is from Johan Weyer. We found the note from Johan Weyer. Bullocks things to release a gripper without killing him. Way I told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, Vitae and Tanta. Ah, that's what I was on about before, a tonic, yeah. The poisonous fungi which will work as a paralyzer if you can find the internal gland in the specimen. The court the choir seems to be a fertile ground for this sort. So okay, so in the choir there'll be some sort of ingredients. And the Vitae should have uh, human blood. And then the Tanta. okay, so Alright. 
one of them extra, extra ingredients, yep. Okay, so we need to find those, and it looks like it's going to be in the choir. Something died inside him that day. Watching that man slip away was more... Something. Let's go. <laughs> Alright. What is this? What's in here? Anything? Give me that tinder box. Anything, anything, anything. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, what the fuck? 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander what are we killing with? Knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Paint the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Let it come. It's How you see Daniel, you weirdo. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this guardian of the orb. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. It was pretty dumb. Who did that? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Alexander, there I can't see anything, it's white. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. It's really bright. Why am I back in here? Oh, there's bodies everywhere. Is there something else in here? I hear blood dripping. But my sanity is not great. I don't have any sanity potions. Oh, I hear that dripping in my ear drums. That's 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 not good. They've gone too far, the moment to between the lashes. Displeased, decided to look for at the Damascus rose oil. What was what? I'm not moving. It's just something up there, someone. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Shit! Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in the door selfishness that is killing us both. Oh, not the bras and bowl. The traitor did not want over to think of the bar's bowl as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heart finally began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams were echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument which was the bull's head. Outside the men could hear the brass and bull below. There you go. Move. Torture. Is there anything important in here? Ah, the piece of the orb. Oh, my vision is blurring and bubbly. I got the bush man. What is this? Colony. Okay, so I've got some of that. My sanity's increased a bit. All of it has, actually. Uh, what's this? What's down here? 
to the theme music is playing. So is there a way for me to climb up there? No, looks like I can't go there. Oh, uh, Bruce Man. The brute. He's down here too. I know he is. I need to get past him somehow. Yep, yeah, that's him. I hear you, buddy. Another door over here by the looks of things. I'm very much concentrating to find out where that moose man is. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. Turning but the wheel. Die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. Still turning the wheel. Still turning the wheel. Still turning the wheel. Does this do anything? Does this do anything at all? Or am I just turning it for nothing? I know it's another torch thing. Ah. The murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent, so the rope secured around his legs stretched and then cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. Okay. Okay, I think I'll leave it here for now. Uh, thanks everybody for watching this episode of Amnesia the Dark Descent. If you liked it, check all out my other videos that I've done. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>